Yobuseo. We have studied loops at length and showed how they can be nested together to have loops inside of loops. Sometimes this is the only way to accomplish a goal, but other times there are more efficient methods. Let's start by looking at one simple step to improve processing efficiency, pre-allocating arrays that will be changing within a loop. The examples at the bottom are identical except for this one line that initializes area to be a 1 by 100 array. Why is this advantageous? In the non-preallocation example, MATLAB is not told beforehand how large the array will grow. So the first time through the loop, area is just a 1 by 1 array because only one value has been computed thus far. In the next iteration, the second index is filled in, so the array expands to 1 by 2. In the next iteration, the third index is filled in, so the array expands to 1 by 3, and so on. The trouble with this is that with each new value appended, MATLAB must run through a large series of steps in the background. This costs significant processing time, and this is why MATLAB warns us by placing an orange squiggly line under the command. The simple step of preallocating, here using the zeros command, prevents all of this unnecessary background copy and pasting. So, a simple rule of thumb. If you know beforehand how large an array needs to be, pre-allocate it. This next example illustrates the same principle with hard numbers. First, I need to introduce the tick and talk commands. These are useful for evaluating the efficiency of different coding strategies. Tick begins a timer, talk ends the timer, and displays the elapsed time in the command window. Both of these examples create the same 100 by 100 multiplication table using nested for loops. The elapsed time for each of them is very small for our human perspective. We would not notice the difference. But this is actually a small example. Yes, individually computing 10,000 products is a small task compared with other projects you'll probably undertake with MATLAB in the future. But the relative difference between the two methods is large. The example on the right, which pre-allocates the table, runs in about one twelfth of the time. Now imagine a larger process. Would you rather wait 1 hour or 12 hours? We can do even better. Whenever possible, avoid the use of loops, which spend a lot of time making decisions and updating index variables. Instead, vectorize. This means applying one operation across all array values at once in an element-by-element -element fashion. Vectorization is the term that is normally used here for two reasons as I see it. First, this is normally done when dealing with vectors. For example, we make a lot more 2D plots than 3D plots. Secondly, it would sound funny if we tried to say matrixization or arrayization. These three examples all create the same final vectors in increasing order of efficiency. Up top, we have a for loop with no preallocation. In the middle, by simply preallocating, we reduce the time sixfold. Lastly, by eliminating the for loops altogether and instead using element by element operations, we reduce the time a bit more, about a 25% improvement relative to the middle example. The first big task is to get the job done. The next big task is to try to get it done efficiently. The ideas in this video will help make your code more elegant.